converting a post-war block signal into a two-aspect LED block signal operated by an Arduino. Coming up next on the Baldy and Palms Railroad. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to do something special, something I really haven't done before, and I think it's going to be really fun for all of us to watch. So what I'm going to do is convert a post-war incandescent light bulb block signal into a two-aspect LED block signal, and then I'm going to operate these signals and create a, a block out on the layout operated by an Arduino. And uh, if you're not familiar with Arduino, it's uh, basically a little tiny computer that can do simple commands, and it's, they're great for the model railroad hobby. Uh, uh, the reason why I'm running the Arduino and not on track power, I had a block signal um, episode a few episodes ago. If you see that, that in that episode, I shunted the track, and I have uh, some problems with that. Um, if the wheels are dirty on the on the locomotive or on the cars, uh, it creates a bad connection on the track and the signal basically resets itself and the train's on the block. So I didn't like that. So I was looking for a different way to um, to create the block signal. So I kind of looked into this and I've always been fascinated with the Arduino. So I'm gonna experiment in the Arduino and create some code. I'll show you how I did the code. I will even post the code on the comments below so you can have full um, full rights to the code if you choose to uh, follow this practice uh, on your own layout. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, dismantle the post-war and uh, first I'll show you how I put the LEDs in and uh, set up the, the, the block signal and then we're going to go out to the layout and start wiring this up and getting it all ready. So let's get started. I'm going to use this head that I bought on eBay with a green and a red LED and this is going to be going inside of here like this. So the items I'm going to use for the block signal upgrade are going to be some cat5 cable i'm going to use orange green and brown i'm also going to use two 330k ohm resistors and two leds a green and a red the resistors are going to be going on to the anode side of the leds with a common ground going to the cathode
All right, we got it all hooked up. We got it put together. Now we're gonna do a little test. I just stripped the wires and put it on uh, the positive here on my breadboard. Here's my, uh, my negative. We're gonna turn the power on to the breadboard, just showing you with a yellow LED. And we're gonna just tap this on ground, and there we go. We got lights. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I hooked it up on the breadboard, and then we're gonna go out to the layout and hook it up on the layout. Okay, here is a printout of the Arduino on the breadboard with the LEDs. Uh, these switches, I could not find uh, read switches on Tinkercad, so I had to use these push buttons. Uh, the yellow wire is the signal wire. That is the one that is triggered by the magnet on the uh, locomotives to signal the switches. Uh, the switches will either be on red or green, and we can see here following the schematic where it's hooked up uh, to uh, digital pin 11 or digital pin 10, depending on the color. And then we have uh, the other half of the read switch is going to ground here on this side. All right, so let me show you what it looks like uh, hooked up to the Arduino, and then I will also show you the code. Okay, so here is the code for the Arduino program. It's a pretty short code. It's on one piece of paper here. I'm just going to run it through you uh, real quick. I'm going to have um, a link in the show notes here so you can download this code if you want to use it. But uh, just a few integers, about seven integers, and then the, the void setup, uh, pretty simple. I'll just run that through here, and then I'll go move it up to the uh, void loop here and show you the void loop. Um, not too many lines, again, just on uh, one piece of paper here. And then, um, but that's it. Uh, you can copy this or uh, download the program from the show notes and put it on your Arduino. Okay, so we got the Arduino hooked up. We got the code loaded. You can see you got the green light on. Here is the read switch. The yellow is the signal. We got two wires going to green, the green high, and the red high. So just we sweep the magnet across the read switch and it will register red. And it will stay red until I signal the read switch one more time. So we go back and it's green. So this is a perfect setup for the layout. Uh, you don't have to worry about any connectivity with the track. Uh, this is a completely isolated system from the rail system as far as electronics goes. So once the uh, locomotive passes over the magnet or the read switch, I'm sorry, and it triggers it with a small magnet on the read switch, it will activate the Arduino and turn it to red. All right, so that. So now let's uh, put this into real work and take it out to the layout. the Arduino hooked up to the block signals via the Cat5 cable going into their uh, digital pins. This is inside the car barn and then we have the Arduino powered by the 5 volt uh, USB from the uh, charge controller for the LED system that lights all my structures. So we got it all hooked up. Let's uh, give it a try.
That about wraps it up on the Bali and Palms Railroad block signal upgrade and installation. Hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and share this video with others. Again, comments are welcome. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.